The Ministry for Lands, Housing and Urbanization has embarked on benchmarking and streamlining its operations. It is for this reason that a two-day orientation attended by departmental staff, technocrats and ministers has been organized in Kampala. Well, we've been basically updating ourselves on the activities which are undertaken under the Ministry of Lands. The various departments, they gave reports of what their plans are, what they've achieved, the challenges they've faced. Now those preparing us as ministers to take over from an informed position. And I think we've learned a lot and uh, we're now ready to go and start working. The Minister for Lands and Urban Development, Judith Nawakova, has officiated at the event and highlights the key focus areas. Because right now you realize they will tell us Wakiso, it has many cases to attend to, but you realize that maybe areas of Moroto and other areas may not have many. So we need to have that paper presented before top management. We go through it and then we fast track the process of clearing the backlog. Because if we clear the backlog, then we'll be in position to utilize the land management information system fully. The two-day orientation session also drew its attention to the pending implementation of the Justice Catherine Bamugemereire land inquiry report. Maybe probably one thing we are fast tracking is the report of the Commission of Justice Bamugemereire. We want, we want at least to have that report presented before cabinet. Then we ask cabinet to put up a committee that can work on a white paper because you remember very well, government funded that committee for almost three years. We cannot simply bury the, the work that was done by the committee and then do other things. I, I believe that committee work or the reports have many recommendations. The meeting also touched the proposed Land Act amendment proposals. They have been around for quite some time. And they are broader, only that... People haven't known what the amendments are up to, so you realize that they can talk about one issue which may not even be in the amendment as of now, but you realize that there are mixed feelings, mixed sentiments, but we will use our communications department to make sure that at least information is given out to the public after agreeing on a, on a number of proposals and probably after even presenting the proposals to cabinet because we, I haven't even, got, being new, I haven't even gone to cabinet to present the proposed amendments. So it is still work in progress. Robert Onyango, UBC News.